Hello and welcome to our final episode, Webinar 3 of our 2022 Virtual Annual BCom Convention. My name is Rose Murphy, Co-Director of the Commerce CK201 programme here in the Cork University Business School, UCC. Connectivity, innovation and social responsibility has always been a big part of Cork's commercial heritage, the legacy of which remains core to our BCom programme. We hope you all enjoyed the experiential learning focus of webinar two, where we explored just some of the co-curricular activities practiced within our BCom programme. And today, we would like to conclude our theme of shaping leaders for a sustainable future by paying tribute to our renowned Commerce Society who are celebrating their 90th anniversary this year. Our Commerce Society is one of the most prestigious business societies in Ireland. It is run by students for students. We are delighted to have with us today the current chair and conference organizer of our ComSoc, Amy Ryan and Aideen Murphy, both final year BCom students. Amy, a big happy anniversary. You are the current chair of the ComSoc and also a final year BCom4 student. How do you juggle both those enormous roles? Well, hi Rose. It's been an exceptionally busy year for us at the Commerce Society. Uh, since September we ran over 30 events and of course as students we have approximately 30 assignments and deadlines to complete in that time as well. So the Society this year organised events from a Freshers Week Silent Disco event, a Mental Health Week event, also as well we had our Commerce Conference which celebrated its 40th year this year and, and also our Commerce Ball as well. So time management is definitely of the essence when it comes to meeting both academic deadlines and also activity deadlines. However, one of the great things about the Commerce Society is that it doesn't compete with a student's academic journey and instead it really supports it and enhances a student's academic journey here at UCC. Fantastic. And Amy, could you expand on the interconnections between the Commerce Programme and the ComSoc? Of course. So I guess some things that come to mind would be the organisation and planning skills that are required and attained through all of the events that I spoke about before. Really, those skills are very transferable to organising and planning study timetables and study schedules and meeting your academic deadlines. As well then, all of our graduate talks that we have, we had some from Jameson and Bank of Ireland, Enterprise Ireland, to name just a few this year. And the connections that we form at those kind of events really do increase the employability prospects for our members. And lastly then, I guess, the kind of student peer-led structure we have in the society. It's an invaluable asset, I think, for any graduate to have. So all of those things really align with the, the programme itself. Thanks so much, Amy. And we have a very special guest with us today via Zoom, Emma Bergen. Emma was in the BCom class from 2017 to 2021 and was very heavily involved in the ComSoc. And Emma would just like to say a few words. Hi, Rose and all. Emma here. I was the conference organiser in 2018 and a member of the Commerce Society throughout my four years in the BCom degree. I'm now in PwC doing accounting exams. A big happy anniversary to you all. The skills I attained from my role in the society throughout my academic studies complemented my university life. I have nothing but fond memories of my time in Cubs. Thank you so much, Emma. And Aideen, a big happy anniversary to you too, since this year is the 40th anniversary of our internationally renowned annual ComSoc conference. Aideen, would you tell us a little about that conference? Hi Rose, absolutely. I am privileged to have been one of two conference directors this year for the 40th anniversary of the conference. I think the BCom programme really teaches its students to be critical thinkers with the ability to reconceptualise critical global challenges. In line with this, the theme of this year's conference was adaptation and reinvention in modern business, which really fits well with the theme. This year, the conference was opened by Antisha Michal Martin and the president of UCC, Professor John O'Halloran. We also had a really high calibre of speakers this year. They represented both the public and the private sector. Oh, wow, that sounds amazing, Aideen. And if you were to identify just one learning outcome from the conference, 
what would that be? It was amazing to see the different action plans each of the business had for introducing sustainability across their value chain to ensure long-term value creation. This integrated very well with the modules we are taking across the BCom degree. They were being taught the skills and knowledge to apply design, innovation and leadership within teams and organisations. Fantastic, Aideen. We have a very special guest with us today, Dennis O'Connor via Zoom who is the retired leader of PwC Ireland Transaction Services Practice. And would you believe Dennis was the chair of the ComSoc 40 years ago when the Commerce Society Conference was first established. Hi, Dennis. Hi, Rose and everybody. Dennis O'Connor here from the class of 1982. I'm delighted to say, Amy and Aideen, that I was the chair of the Society back 40 years ago when the Commerce Conference was first established. After graduating from UCC in 1982, I joined Craig Gardner Price Waterhouse, which is now PwC in Cork, and spent over 38 years in both of those Cork and Dublin offices, over 25 years as a partner. The Commerce Programme helped me immensely over that career in PwC. During my time there, I worked with most leading companies in Ireland, and I've seen how business has evolved over the years. One of the current aims of most organizations is to establish the benefits from integrating sustainability into their, into their businesses. And this together with the ongoing goal of maintaining high profit levels is at the top of all business agendas. I'm delighted to see the Commerce Society and the BCom program exploring the same throughout this year's conference team of adaptability and reinvention. Thanks so much, Dennis. And we have your fellow classmate with us today as well, Frank Murphy, founder and CEO of Monix Ireland and current BCom mentor to Commerce CK201. Hi, Frank. Hi to everybody. Delighted to be with you here today and congratulations on the 40 years. Like Dennis, the previous speaker before me, I was there uh, in the same class of 82. And while we didn't realize it at the time, the BCom was very much advanced uh, and absolutely uh, leading edge. When we actually left, then we fully realized it. From our time there, we actually built on our career. Uh, I actually went into Cooper McGuinness, which eventually became Deloitte. Spent 10 years in a financial services company and then broke out on my own to uh, develop my own company, Monix Financial Services. Interestingly enough, uh, it was when I was uh, in my summer vacation period from BCom, we were having a very good time. I actually came up with the idea for what I'm doing currently, which was I was working for Boland's Car Rental, which subsequently became Hertz. And then eventually they were my first customer. So uh, 40 years later on, it's gone very well. We're now actually developed in 56 countries. Our turnover is 100 million and we've throughput of 56 billion. So, a wonderful course, a wonderful career start, and the best of luck to all of you. Thanks so much, Frank, for all your help and kindness to our programme over the years. I'm delighted to have with us today, Dr. Lawrence Dooley, co-director of the Commerce CK201 programme here in Cobbs. Lawrence, we actually collaborate with the Commerce Society every year. What value do you think that collaboration brings to our students? Thank you, Rose. The BCom Society is an integral part of the BCom program life during the academic year. At the heart of the BCom, we strive to develop the professional and personal skills of our graduates that we create so that they're ready for the, employer, the employment landscape of tomorrow. The BCom Society work with us through our development spine, a very applied module embedded in each of the academic years where students have the opportunity to implement the theory and practice that they're learning in the more academic focused modules. In relation to one module, BU 2001, the Society worked with us to engage with local charities and for the second year BCOMs to undertake fundraising events in aid of those charities, turning 280 euro into over 17,000. That's just one of the examples that the society does in helping us to provide the skills that 
industry are going to uh, require of our graduates. But the BCom Society does much more than that. They are the lifeblood of the program. They run social and extracurricular events that really bring out the student experience, whether that's a, a table quiz, whether that's the BCom Ball or the BCom Conference. These are all opportunities where students that are part of the committee have the opportunity to show their future employers the skills and practical experiences that have acquired through the programme. Thus, the BCom program helps all our students to shine from an employer perspective, but we couldn't do it without the tireless and energetic work of the BCom Society. Thanks so much, Lawrence. And we have our very good friend and BCom mentor with us, Laura Devereaux. And Laura would like to say a few words to the Commerce Society. Hi Rose and hi everyone. My name's Laura. I am currently a HR generalist in Wise Tech in Cork and I was the auditor of the Commerce Society in 2011 and 2012. Ten years ago already, I can't believe it. Um, so I want to wish the Commerce Society and the Commerce Programme a big happy anniversary. Congratulations on all the amazing activities, events you continue to organise. It's great to see. I'm also really delighted to see that uh, the Society and the Conference are, are embracing uh, sustainable business practices, just like we do here at Wise Tech. Uh, as I say, I'm gone from the program for over 10 years, but I will always feel part of uh, the Commerce program in UCC. And I am really delighted and honored to act as a business mentor. And thanks so much, Laura, for all your kindness and help to the program over the years. Our globally recognized business degree program, Commerce CK201, collaborates with our Commerce Society to support our BCOMS student experience during their university life, to cultivate our students' creativity, to promote social responsibility, to embrace equality and diversity, and to enhance employability. This collaboration enables us to shape leaders for a sustainable future. I hope everyone enjoyed our final episode, webinar three of our BCom convention 2022. I look forward to connecting with you all again for our live broadcast on June the 1st at 1 p.m. Registration details can be found on the CUBS website or indeed email us on bcomdirector at ucc.ie. Until June the 1st, bye for now.